Hello, my beautiful beard growing friends. So today we're gonna to talk about are gray beards attractive? I've got polls, I've got forums, and there's some good news for those with graying beards. Just a couple of little tricks as well. All right, let's get into the content. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe because I talk about everything, beards, maintenance, tips, tricks, products, and everything like that. So uh, I wanna share that with you. So please remember to subscribe and you'll get all of that information straight to you and your feed. Great. Okay, are gray beards attractive? Let's check it out. People worry about going gray. And I'm not sure at what point they worry about it. Like I've got a couple of gray hairs. I think I've got one on this side and a couple on this side. None in the chin yet, but I'm, I think I'm gonna get there eventually. Um, and you know, it's, I think it's just common, it's human nature to kind of think, well, is this an attractive thing? Should I dye my beard? Should I pull them out initially? Um, should I worry at all about going gray? And uh, I think, yeah, that's just natural. That's just natural to think that way, especially when you've only got one or two coming in, you start asking those questions. Did you dye your beard? Who knows? The good news is, is that all of the forums and posts and uh, polls that have been done, they like gray beards, but, there's a little twist. It's not just the color that matters. So let's have a look at the first one. So match.com, match.com is the famous um, like dating website, uh, matching. I think it's a little bit more than Tinder than just sex, but um, it's all about matching people up. And 72% of respondents said that having gray hair on a man makes them more attractive. So win there, right? Now, polls are good, but they can kind of lead you down a little bit of a kind of like, you know, oh, you're guiding the witness sort of thing. So where I like to sort of check for real people's responses are forums and Reddit. The anonymity of uh, this place, of the internet, of forums, just means that people genuinely give their real responses. And so uh, I found a forum where people were responding to this exact question. Um, I've also got extra uh, information on my website, beardgrowingpro.com. Head there and you'll get extra links to all of the forums and the posts and the polls and the reviews and the science as well as of growing a, a, a gray beard and what, what it really means for you. So yeah, go check out that. Um, it's beardgrowingpro.com forward slash are gray beards attractive. Um, yeah, go check that out. So the first forum I found where people talked about this in detail was my fitness pal. And here are like four or five responses. So first of all, personally, this is one response. Personally, I don't care for hair dyed, but especially a beard. So this person clearly doesn't like that they're being tricked a little bit and maybe it just looks a little bit obvious, bit vain. Um, this person says natural is the way to go. It's part of the real you and it shows character. Um, and this is the second response that I found. I think men with a little gray is sexy, but that is me. Uh, I'm not sure about the beard. Is it a uniform gray or patchy? So people clearly have a little bit of a uh, preference of whether or not there's streaks, patches and stuff. A lot of my friends are going gray in the front here. Um, and look, it's down to personal preference as in terms of a potential partner or your partner looking at you. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't seem like people want you to sort of to dye it or, or change it in any way. Um, it seems to me that people just want natural initially. So, um, gray equals sexy. So long as it's short and well-groomed, it makes a man look more sophisticated, I think. So there we are, that's from my fitness pal. Um, people clearly like the sophisticated older look, the George Clooney-esque thing that happens with gray beards. Um, so that's good. And the final one I've got from my fitness pal is go gray. It's all about how you feel. If you like, if you like, then swag with it. If you think you're sexy, we will think you are sexy too. Wow. Okay. So that just means that forget the color. People actually want a well-trimmed beard that looks like intentional, looks maintained, and they want the wearer, the person with the beard, to be like confident, 
That seems to be the take home message from these uh, forums. And that is backed up by Reddit. So once again, head over to the website and you'll get all of these plus more. Um, and from Reddit, this is what it says. Any beard is a good beard as long as it's well kept. Okay. That makes complete sense. People want to see an intentional beard. And this person says it a little bit more kind of bluntly. Agreed. Something closer to George Clooney's salt and pepper beard than a Duck Dynasty hobo look, thanks. So great. So people want it trimmed, backed up again. 100% yes if it's trimmed. And then yeah, gray beards are sexy if they are groomed. And there's heaps more responses. I've got the link in the article. Uh, I'll link that article in the description as well. Um, so yeah, there we are. Are gray beards attractive? Well, it's not necessarily the fact that they're gray that makes them attractive or unattractive. People want to see them being intentional, well-maintained. They want to see that you feel confident in your beard and that your the color kind of doesn't put you off. Um, natural is better, and there's definitely a push against dyed beards. Um, so yeah, confidence. Do what makes you feel confident. If you can rock that gray, then rock it. It seems to be that the people online and the women that are responding on these polls like a good old gray beard, well-maintained, short, and that's rocked with confidence. So let's just take a moment to talk about what turns hair gray. Um, so at the base of each hair, there are cells called um, melano melanocytes. Okay, at the base of each hair, there are cells called melanocytes. Um, and these are pigment cells. So there's two types. There's like a, um, a brown ready one and then a yellow one, yellow orange one. And so that's why beards have lots of different types of colors in them. But those cells get swept up into the hair as it, as it grows. It produces these kind of pigment cells. Um, and essentially, as you get older, these cells just die away. They just aren't as... Uh, readily made by the body. They're not protected as well uh, by the antioxidants in your body. And so they just die. And so that is why your hair turns gray. Um, a University of Melbourne uh, professor said there's also no link to stress, diet, or other factors. It seems to be only based on your genetics. So have a look at the men in your family. Have a look at the uh, people with beards. Do they have gray beards? Did they go gray? Did it go all in once? Did it go at the sides? Is it like me where you've got one or two, at, you know, your mid thirties? Um, that really will determine if your beard is gonna go gray. And so, yeah, I guess the science says there's no specific stress or diet or any factors that will turn your beard gray. Hmm. So now the question is, can you reverse a gray beard? Um, a gray beard now we know is due to the melanocytes which are being completely sort of depleted at the root of that hair. Um, so we need something to protect them. And the good news is, is there's a French study. Um, there was a French study that there was a scientist who used chemicals which essentially acted like the antioxidants in your body to protect the cells at the base um, of your hairs. And so they protect the pigment cells. They end up with cells um, in those places that will turn your beard uh, its proper color um, and stop it from going gray. So there could be a kind of, um, it could be a revolution in the scientific world in terms of beards, which is making your beard stay its color, color by protecting the cells that exist, those melanocytes, those pigment cells at the root of the hair. So there we have it. Your beard is sexy when you rock it with confidence. It doesn't necessarily matter about the color. Keep it well trimmed, keep it looking intentional, and that is what people find the most sexy. That is what makes beards attractive. Okay, that is the end of this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are gray beards attractive? Do you like them? Have you had any comments about your graying beard? Are you using dyes? Um, let me know in the comments. I'd love to get that information from you. All right, please remember to subscribe because I'm gonna share more information like this, more research I've done, more uh, maintenance tips, all that sort of stuff. Go check out the channel as well. I really appreciate it. I shall see you in the next video.